Today we're cooking filetto al pepe verde. And we're gonna start by buying, as I did, the whole filet, you know, the whole loin. And we are gonna clean it up, we're gonna dissect it into filet mignons, and then we're gonna cook it. So to start, we need to clean up you know, this membrane right here, which primarily we can do with our hands. Where you can do it with your hands, you can gently and gingerly do it with the knife. Here you go. There you go. Here it is. And just cut off the chain. We're not gonna throw this away. There's, you know, some good meat in here, as you can see. Now, what we're gonna do is actually try to clean up a little bit of this fat. I'm using my knife as a scraper right now. See? These hunks of fat. Be careful with your fingers not to cut yourself. There you go. The sharper the better with knives, no matter what you're doing. See, we're cleaning up fairly nicely. So now we're going to have to take out you know, the silver tissue that is the sinew. This one is very tough. So what I do is actually I go in with the tip of my blade, basically do a little bit of scoring, then grab it right here, just under the silver lining. And with the blade pointing up, I'm just very gently, you know, kind of cutting through that. See? It's kind of a nice clean cut. Now I'm gonna grab it right here. Be careful because it's kind of slippery. And kind of doing the same thing on this side. Blade up. And you just go to the end. See? This is what you end up with if you're doing the job right. And here, as you can see now, we got this side muscle right here. Okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it out. See? There you go. See right here? This is what I basically consider you know a nice piece of filet mignon. So, and I'm going to cut in one motion, like that. See how the cut is perfect at that point? I'm gonna take this one, butterfly it, I'm gonna go down almost to the end. One motion. So, it's a nice piece of filet mignon. Voila! What we're gonna do next is we're gonna take some of these nice pieces of filet mignon and we're gonna cook them for the filetto pepe verde and we're gonna see how we do that in the next segment. So we put the peppercorns into the Ziploc bag, right there, and then you go medieval on them. As you can see, we have a little bit of bigger pieces, a little bit of smaller pieces. So here's the last stage of the filetto pepe verde or steak au poivre. We're basically gonna cook about a tablespoon of butter and we're gonna do a little bit like a teaspoon of olive oil so that if we increase the smoking point of the uh, butter. 
let them be. Do not touch them, do not move them around. Let them really get their crust at the bottom. So as far as I'm concerned, these tapes are done. I'm gonna now take them off the plate, off the pan. And now we're gonna move on to the next stage, which is the sauce. This is called the fondant. This is the good stuff. We need to deglaze the pan. We're gonna use, you know, cognac or brandy. Step off the fire, and you're gonna... Deglaze the pan. See how you're gonna pick up all of these little pieces of goodness once the alcohol has burned off. And there's a debate whether all the alcohol gets burned off or not. Yeah, I think that probably 99% of it is gonna get burned off. So I think this is perfectly safe for your kids. This is heavy cream. We're just gonna put it in the pan. We're gonna swirl it around and mix it all up with the fondant, with the Cognac, and now we're gonna basically let it reduce down until it coats the back of the spoon. Keep stirring, especially when it starts boiling. You keep stirring it. We're basically almost there. See how it's coming together? It's bubbling nice and thick. This is what I like to see. This is what you want to see, this nice, thick crepe. And we are basically done. 